Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And a lot of you have been asking me um, what we know about rollback, meaning some of you might be tempted to try Windows 11, but would like to know if they can roll back to their old operating system, Windows 10, if they don't like it or if um, you know it's not what they, it doesn't work well and so on. So first things first, if you do go to the Insider Dev channel, for those that want to try the uh, you know test version right now, first of all, I do not recommend it for most people because um, it's really for enthusiasts much more than regular folks. Um, you have a possibility of rolling back, but you're not going to have that possibility forever. At some point, it disappears. About the Windows Insider uh, rollback, so if you go into your settings and go into the Windows Update, you'll have here a option that is Advanced Options, actually. In Advanced Options, you will have Recovery, and here you will have Go Back. You see here, now it's grayed out. Go back lasts 10 days. If you do go to the dev channel, we warned that after 10 days, the go back button is going to be grayed out. You won't be able to roll back except reinstalling Windows completely with the media creation tool for Microsoft. The other thing is about when this is going to be available, when Windows 11 is released and Windows 11 shows up in your Windows update and it will be an optional update once again. How long will you have if you want to install it and try it? 10 days, once again, is the time. For 10 days, you'll be able to go back into your settings. In the recovery tab, you will have go back that is going to be available. You'll have 10 days to try it. But after 10 days, if you have not rolled back, the only way to go back to Windows 10 will be to reinstall with the media creation tool or some uh, image, some ISO image that you can download from the Microsoft website. So it's very important to understand that it's a very limited time of testing before you have to roll back. So uh, that's one thing that is to understand here because a lot of people have moved on and now they're stuck. They're like, well, I'm stuck here. What can I do? And while I have the official version when it's released, um, you know, Dev Channel is the channel that you did not have a way to get out, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, beta Channel is where, you know, it's, it should move at some point, I would guess, and um, where you will be able to get out when you actually have the official version. But you know, it has no watermark, it has no official end date, so I wouldn't be surprised that this is, if you get out of the Windows Insider program, I would guess that this probably continues to still go on its own and get updates. Uh, some people have been telling me that, so that's possible. But once again, uh, don't go there if you're not ready to deal with problems and deal with the fact that you might have to reinstall Windows, or if you want to roll back, you'll have to reinstall Windows 10. It's extremely important for uh, everybody to understand that. And for the last question of, will I lose everything? Remember one thing, is that first of all, you can upgrade to Windows 11 without losing anything. But if you don't have a backup, you are one day going to lose everything. Backups are mandatory. It's not something that you maybe should do. It's something you need to do. It's every computer needs to have a backup. It is something that you have to do. People that are either too lazy or just don't do any backups because they think that everything's always okay are always losing their files at some point. That's why you need to back them up You're on USB thumb drives, on external hard drives, in the cloud, whatever, whatever way you do it. Uh, it is mandatory. If you don't do it, someday you will lose your stuff. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.